There has been a rise in the number of incidents where workers are seriously injured while using power tools. Most commonly circular saws, drop saws and grinders. In most of these cases, the worker came into contact with moving parts such as a blade or disc. This has resulted in serious lacerations or in some cases, the amputation of fingers or hands. Other injuries include eye damage from flying debris or electric shocks due to misuse or poor maintenance. If you use power tools in the workplace, keep your people safe. Many injuries are the result of workers using tools incorrectly, using the wrong tool for the task or not using appropriate personal protective equipment. Other risks include contact with moving parts as the result of kickback or during rundown time, poor maintenance and modifying the tools such as removing or incorrectly adjusting safety guards. Ensure that your workers are aware of the risks such as kickback which is when a grinder or saw jams or grabs the material being cut and thrust back towards the operator. This can be avoided by using the right blade or disc for the job, using tools with anti-kickback clutches and ensuring the worker isn't positioned directly behind the tool. Workers should also be aware of the rundown time for each tool, which is how long it takes for the tool to completely stop after removing your finger from the trigger. Make sure your workers use the right tool for the job Tools shouldn't require any modifications, such as the removal of guards to undertake the task. Provide appropriate personal protective equipment, including eye and hearing protection. Regularly inspect and service all power tools to ensure that they are safe to use. This includes checking that all safety mechanisms and guards are in place and functioning in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. Ensure blades are in good condition before each use and keep them sharpened. Blunt blades require more force to cut and are more likely to jam or grab. For electric power tools, have the power supply regularly inspected, tested and tagged by a suitably competent person. Only use power outlets that are protected by a safety switch. And if you're not sure, use a portable safety switch assembly, commonly known as a portable RCD box. Finally, ensure your workers are properly trained and competent to use power tools provide them with operation manuals and keep a record of their training. Let's talk safety.